Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to your Monday class. We'll go ahead and start today's class in child's pose. Coming down to our mats. You have the option to also bring your knees together for this child's pose if you would like. Resting your palms facing up by your sides. Forehead comes down to the mat or you can have your knees wide to the mat and sinking those hips back towards your heels, big toes to touch, whichever variation or modification you would like to take today. And now reaching the arms forward, take a deep breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale, release it out. Any stale air, any negative thoughts, any things on the to-do list, go ahead and let those go for the next couple moments or so. And this is your time on your mat. This is for you. Just begin to settle into the four corners of your mat for now. And then drawing the palms together, coming into prayer hands and then reversing that. So bringing the thumbs back towards the nape of your neck. Just breathing here. And then releasing the hands back down to the mat and rocking up to tabletop. Maybe taking a few dancing lions here. Adding any movement in that feels good to you. Maybe rolling your neck. And then when you're ready, come to a still tabletop. Inhale, curl those toes underneath you and exhale. Send your hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Awesome, and let's take a few spinal rolls here. So rolling the spine forward, kind of thinking of taking a cat rolling forward and then a cow rolling back so bringing it forward pushing it back maybe two more of these bending into the knees as you push it back and when you're ready come to a still downward dog inhale gaze forward and exhale, hop your feet in between your hands. Once your feet meet your hands, you can release those hands and lift them up to chair pose, sinking nice and low, sitting here in your chair pose, gazing directly forward. Inhale, straighten to mountain pose, so just straightening through the legs and reaching back, sending your hips forward, reaching the fingertips back behind you. Exhale, forward fold, fold it on over. Another inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Making each movement harmonious with the next. One more inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair. And exhale twisting to the left so sending that right elbow on the outer left knee if you're noticing the right knee popping forward go ahead and bring that knee back in line inhaling to lengthen exhaling to twist a little bit deeper and now inhale back up to chair Exhale, twisting to the right this time, bringing the left elbow onto the outer right knee. Twisting here, inhale to lengthen that spine. Exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe bending into the knees a little bit more here. One more breath in. And exhale, go ahead and release that down coming into gorilla pose so separating the feet maybe two fists width in between bending generously into your knees here and then slipping the left hand underneath the left foot 
and right hand underneath the right foot. Dropping the crown of your head. And if you feel comfortable, maybe you can straighten through the legs a little bit more. One more breath in. And exhale, slowly release, planting your hands and stepping your feet back into high plank. And go ahead and take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. All right, let's inhale, sweep that right leg high. And exhale, right knee comes to right elbow with those chaturanga elbows, or chaturanga arms. Inhale, right leg comes back high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Right arm leads, lifting the right arm. And that right hand reaches back to the outer left thigh, reaching the left arm up. A nice twist, strong lunge here, deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down and take your vinyasa. Beautiful, inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale, sweep the left leg high this time. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg high, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, beautiful, lifting that left arm as it leads, reaches back to the outer right thigh. Right arm reaches high. Deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down and take your vinyasa. Remember the option to come to your knees as well for that push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. And an open mouth exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, let's do that whole thing one more time. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Reaching the right arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale, left leg high, right on into it. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, right leg high left knee to right elbow inhale left leg high exhale low lunge step it between your hands immediately lifting that left arm taking a good twist here reaching inhale exhale cartwheel the arms down take your vinyasa beautiful inhale upward facing dog and open mouth, exhale, down dog. Beautiful, breathe here, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Walking your hands back towards you. Inhale to mountain pose. And maybe lift up to your toes here. So lifting your heels up, reaching the arms up high. And with control, squat down. Coming to a toe stand, separating your toes so that you can stretch them nice and evenly. You guys know how I feel about my toe stands. They're so good to stretch your feet and your toes. And then as you're ready, you can go ahead and come on down to a seat maybe lowering all the way down to your back in corpse pose, or maybe you just stay in a seated position for a few breaths here. Releasing the tongue from the roof of your mouth, 
keeping some space in between your teeth, breathing in, relaxing the face, open mouth, exhale. friends know that you can stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If you are ready to move on with your day, bringing your palms to your forehead as a reminder that this is where all of your strength is. Palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly, lovingly, speak strength into yourself. And then bringing your palms to your heart as a reminder that you are loved you are kind, you are special, you are worthy, you are forgiven, and your mistakes do not define you, they do not create who you are. Your past is washed away in the sea of forgetfulness. One more breath in, and an open mouth exhale, release it out. You can flood your eyes open. God bless friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe if you would like to, if you enjoyed this. I only want you to um, subscribe if you genuinely would love to. I never want anyone to feel pressured to just subscribe to subscribe. <laughs> and um, if you would like to donate to me personally or donate to my future studio, that information will be left on the next screen as well as down below. And I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next class. <laughs> Bye.